Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guide. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assess customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a mobile device in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. By default, most mobile devices are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier, and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, and this one just happens to be from Verizon here in the U.S., and this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked from Verizon. As we can see here, when we have a different carrier SIM card inserted, we get this pop-up message at the bottom saying that your device can't be activated on another carrier's network right now. And that's a standard message that pops up with a device that is still SIM locked to Verizon. Now, as some of you may know, all Verizon devices used to come SIM unlocked already. It was an FCC requirement for them to sell them unlocked in order to be able to use the type of LTE network that they wanted to set up for them for, for, the, uh, for themselves. But back in early 2019, they got approval from the government to be able to change their policy a little bit, and their official reason was to combat some of the theft and the fraud that happens with mobile devices. People will buy, you know, five phones brand new and then just sell them and never intend to pay any of the bills, and they claim that there was a whole bunch of that stuff going on, and so they had to lock the devices in order to make them less attractive to people who would do that. So Verizon's official requirements are that you use the phone with them for 60 days after it's purchased, and then they will unlock it. So we've been contacted by tons of customers uh, ever since Verizon enacted that new policy, asking us to help them unlock their device, either because they wanted to change away from Verizon before the 60 days was up or because they bought the phone used from a dishonest seller who either didn't tell them that it was still locked or told them that it was unlocked already and lied or told them that they would be able to get it unlocked easily through Verizon and none of that was actually the case. Now, we are making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get this device unlocked without having to go through Verizon. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer, and we actually already did 99% of the work before we started making the video here, just to cut, help cut down on the time. So now all we have to do is one restart here to the phone, and then we should be able to see after that that it does indeed register and get signal on that test SIM card that we have inserted. So we're just going to let it finish its restart process here. And there we go. So up at the top now, we can see that the signal has kicked in. The SIM card that we're using here today is from Cricket, which is a prepaid provider here in the U.S. that runs on AT&T's network and is owned by them. And then we also, if my focus will cooperate there, and if the screen would stop going off, we have our signal bars enabled, we have the 4G LTE symbol there, which indicates that the phone is now currently fully activated and in service. Just to clarify exactly what we're working with here, though, we will go into the settings here and see that this is indeed a, a S20+, Plus, and then, of course, they all have the 5G enabled. And then that model number there, the G986U, that's the model number of all of the U.S. versions of the S20+, Plus, no matter which carrier it originally came from. And if we jump under status really quick, we'll be able to see that we are indeed here registered on Cricket. We have our full signal enabled. We're connected to the network. There goes our LTE and everything else there that you can see. I should also mention that this can be done to the other versions of the S20 as well, both the regular S20 and also the S20 Ultra. So the same process applies to all three models of the S20 from Verizon. So if you have a Galaxy S20, any of the models, originally from Verizon, and would like help getting it SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy along the way. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda para que se la entendemos en su idioma. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.